What's going on guys? My name is Dave and this is Off Grid. I'm into backpacking, hiking, and gear. If you're into that sort of thing too, please consider subscribing to the channel down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Today, if you haven't already guessed, we're taking a look at camping chairs. I've got three different styles to show you today. One is a little bit more suited for backpacking. Another one is a little bit more suited kind of to it's kind of a hybrid between backpacking and car camping and the other one is kind of like your iron horse that is definitely good for just mostly car camping so what are the different styles that you can expect what are the different materials what are the different costs to expect all of these things i'm going to cover in this video so that you can be informed and make the proper decision when you're looking for your camping chair car camping chair or backpacking chair so let's get right into it uh, the first chair that we got right here is the REI Flex Light Air Chair. It is uh, 17 ounces. It's got a nylon webbing, and then it also has aluminum stakes and poles right here for your stability. The um, construction of this is definitely a lot more wobbly when you're sitting on it, um, especially if you're going from side to side because of the way that the pole structure runs from the back to the front. But um, this one is going to be your ultra light setup. It's going to be the one that is going to be your comfort chair when you're going to the back country and um, super ultra light. Um, it weighs in again at 17 ounces and the overall cost on this MSRP is $100, but I got it on sale for $70. So REI runs sales on their own type of gear and uh, you can definitely find this one on sale. Packs down really small and is a really good lightweight option. It doesn't have any of the bells and whistles on the side. It doesn't have any of the pockets like this uh, Chinese knockoff Rock Cloud does or the Ozark Trail one over there does. Um, it's really just super simple. You have a little bit of a height clearance. Obviously, it's not as high off the ground as the Ozark Trail one is, but you're still getting a decent clearance off the ground so that uh, your knees are still a little bit above your waist when you're sitting in it, but um, it's still pretty comfortable. But I think out of all three of these today, this is probably like the lowest profile. It's still just a little bit lower than the Rock Cloud offering over here. The second uh, option or offering, I should say, is from a Chinese brand that I found on Amazon. It's called Rock Cloud. I really enjoy this chair, actually. It's got a sturdier construction than the Aria Air chair. We're kind of going to go in progression over here. This is like the flimsiest and then this one all the way on the end is going to be like rock solid and steady but this one is a good in between um, you can find this online for about 30 to 40 dollar range um, the uh, like I said the construction is a lot more sturdy you've got uh, an aluminum structure here and this one unlike the REI flex light air chair that runs from the front to the back you've got a, a structure on this one that the pole structure goes from left to right so if anything this is going to be a little bit more unstable from front to back so if you're leaning a little bit more towards the front and towards the back it's going to be a little bit more unstable in that way but definitely it feels a lot more sturdy it feels a lot more like sure on its feet which is really nice it has two different pockets here on either side um, one is a little bit smaller but can still fit a um, you know like smaller water bottle and then this one over here is a little bit bigger but not as deep but um, I've been able to fit like quite a lot into these pockets here and I really enjoy it and like I said like on the feet like sitting in it kind of like rocking around I really think that this one is a lot more stable um, when you're sitting in it so yeah this one definitely is a little bit more uh, sturdy what makes it even more sturdy is we've got these uh, little cups at the uh, the bottom of the chair that um, are not fixed into it it um, you kind of like push them in in order to like kind of like suction them on but they add a lot more stability especially in the um, the uh, wetter environments or if you're on sand or something like that it definitely uh, gives you a lot more stability in, in unstable grounds now the third one here is the Walmart special this one is rock solid super windy I had to like anchor that one down I got like a tent kind of propping this one up in the back over here but this one didn't need anything because it weighs like I don't even know like it's like at least like 15 20 pounds or something like that something crazy like that and um, it's got its own pockets here on the side too got a couple on this side and then nothing on this side but it's got like the uh, the cross beams underneath here too that kind of like run each way and um, 
Um, it's got like two portions here on the top that kind of like click in. It even has like a pillow that kind of like Velcros on the top. So it's pretty crazy. Definitely like ultra comfortable. Um, definitely going to be the most insulated out of all three of these too because it's just one solid piece. It is super thick, um, scratch resistant, super durable. These other two, this one here by Rock Cloud obviously has, uh, you can see the webbing through here, so you're not going to get a lot of insulation at all. You're going to get a lot of breeze coming in, making you really cold. Um, a good pro tip and a hack for that is to just put a, your sit pad, if you got a sit pad, just kind of like put it here on the backing, especially on these cold days where it's really breezy here at the harbor. You, um, you can kind of like block some of that and shield it. You just put it right in here and then sit in it. And this one here, uh, the REI FlexLite Air Chair is um, a a solid piece a solid backing but it's super thin material it's a thinner nylon here so I would still recommend even with this chair putting some sort of uh, sit pad on it if you want to insulate a little bit more for the cold weather um, but that's that's pretty much it on like a very short uh, run through on all three of these here uh, I forgot about the price point on this one I really don't know I got it like years ago but again Walmart special so it's probably gonna be a super cheap um, option for you but the Ozark Trail one right here too is definitely um, the uh, the car camping slash like tailgating style chair um, it is it's it's huge I mean it's super heavy it comes like three four feet off the ground even when it's packed together so if you have a larger truck or um, you know just bigger SUV or something like that you can definitely bring that like car camping if you want like ultra comfort and a lot of uh, stability and insulation that would be a really great cheap option that you could just head on down to your local Walmart and pick up tomorrow so let's get you a closer look on all three of these here. Let's do like a walk around, just kind of talk about them. And actually here too, I haven't showed you guys yet, but uh, I have in here, I don't know if you can see it, it's a, a Helinox uh, anchor that I've got kind of like running through here. It's a one ounce option um, that I think costs like 15 bucks. Helinox sells it and I was like, dude, it, it could totally come in handy for those windy days. And I'm like, here we go, it's a perfect example of it. This is the REI Air chair and I got it on sale for about 70 bucks and um, super lightweight option I can't speak to the durability of it just yet um, I think what I'll do is post a link up in the cards for a recent video that I did with my first look on it so if you want a little bit more information on that head on over and check that one out here is the rock cloud option again I really like this um, it is going to be uh, a little bit heavier too. I think this one is like 2.3 pounds. I just have like my uh, REI Half Dome 2 Plus trying to like trying to anchor that one down because I only have one of the Helinox anchors. But uh, giving you the 360 view all around on this one. So again, here are the feet on it. I kind of just like suction cup into it I, I really enjoy those um, definitely makes it feel a lot more sturdy but the poles here are definitely a lot more sturdy and doesn't feel as wobbly as the rei flex light air chair does and then here is the old iron horse super cheap walmart ozark trail uh, option oddly enough uh, a lot of the ozark trail offerings are um, not that great they break um, pretty easily and a lot of people don't really care for them but i i love this chair <laughs> i gotta say like i've had this for a number of years now i've used it in different situations the bag that i that it kind of came in i, I kind of like ripped off one of the the shock cords to it but um I, I i really love it man it's got like sturdy wider arms on it too and uh, like i said with the pillow back here is super plush and it's got an ultra high back up here too so you know you can definitely rest your head and like lean your head back and um, it's it's like definitely the most comfortable for extended use out of all three of these options over here so that's going to do it for the very top level comparison between all three of these different chairs i think you can find a use for every single one of these types of chairs and i do it really depends on um, the type of environment that you're going to if you're going to be like more relaxed and like i said car camping or um, going like tailgating 
skiing or going to a concert or something like that, then this is like a really solid option, especially if you have space in your car for it. Um, super comfortable for extended periods of time, like hours and hours, kind of like sitting on your butt. The one that I'm in right here by Rock Cloud is a great option for car camping. It's a little bit heavier for your backpacking option. Like I said, 2.3 pounds. Um, it's definitely a little bit heavier, but it does compact down into uh, its own stuff sack that it came with. So it is an option if you want to save some money for your backpacking trips and um, still have a like seat as an option when you get to camp. And then the third one here, rustling in the breeze, um, is your ultralight backpacking kit. It's really good for, uh, especially like, uh, well, I'm not really sure. I mean, if through hikers really carry a chair or not, probably not. But if they were to carry one, then it would definitely be this one. This is my uh, my weekend warrior type of chair too. And whenever I go out backpacking, I'm doing a bunch of miles. I love to have a chair and uh, be comfortable when I'm at camp. So what are some of your guys' interests in chairs? Do you like chairs? Do you not like chairs? Um, do you bring a chair with you when you head out into the backcountry? I want to know which one you bring, why you chose that one, and if you like it or not. So leave me some comments down below to uh, let me know what your thoughts are on camping chairs. That's gonna do it for me on this one. I gotta get out of here. It's super breezy and it made uh, shooting some videos today super challenging, but um, I'm out of here. Thanks so much for watching this week, guys. If you like what you saw, please give me the thumbs up and consider subscribing down below if you haven't already. I'll also post information on my Instagram right here too for you guys to take a look at. And remember, if you're heading off grid, make sure you do your research and you make it a safe one. Until the next Next time, I'll see you guys later. This one obviously you can see has a lot of um... <laughs>